Are you tired of miss hitting all of your overhead shots or just hitting them to the net or just completely missing them at all? So don't worry, today I'm going to teach you the five steps of hitting a perfect overhead shot. So please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's begin. So the first step to hit a perfect overhead shot is to learn the grip. So we want to have a standard neutral grip for the overhead shot. And then it, what it looks like, it's kind of like a soft handshake into the grip like this. And then you really want to make sure that your fingers and wrists are very relaxed because when you're doing a smash or clear that requires a lot of power, you want to really squeeze the racket to generate that power. So it's definitely important to, be, to leave some spaces between your, your fingers and grip to allow that squeezing motion. So the second step to hit a perfect overhead shot is to actually learn the form. So when you're opening your arms, just imagine that you're shooting an arrow and with a, with a bow and arrow like this, but instead with a racket. And then the emphasis is really on opening wide and having your chest up. So what you want to do is have your elbows up like this. And also your left hand up in front of you like this. And then when your racket head should be pointing forward at a slight direction like this. You don't want it to be pointing too much upwards or too much, uh, too much um, backwards like this. And then for the lower body, you want to make sure that your right leg is at the back and your left leg is in the front like this with only the toe touching the floor. So the third step to master the overhead shot is to learn the footwork. So what you want to do first, you want to start at the middle position. You want to do a hard split and quickly turn to the corner that you want to hit in. And then you want to, what you want to do is two shuffles. One, two. And then once we're done with the two shuffles, we want to really do a scissor kick like this. When we're doing our scissor kick, it's very important to generate a lot of power from our right leg. And then once we are turning in the air like this, we want to make sure that our knee is a little bit high up in the air and we are landing with our heel. Do you want access to championship coaching and custom plan training plans and much more? Please use my referral code down below to join our online badminton academy. The fourth step to, to learn the overhead shot is to learn the, how to do the swing motion. So when we're swinging, we want to make sure that our racket is up. And then what we want to do, we want to turn our body 90 degrees with our chest facing the net like this. And then you really want to feel a twist in your core and your waist. And then once our body is turned, you want to make sure our elbow is up like this. And then our racket is pronating behind us like this. And then what you want to do is extend your elbow, make sure the arm is straight up like this, and then make sure that the contact point is as high as possible. Then this is when we, well, this is actually exactly when we contact the shuttle. And then after we contact the shuttle, we want to do a follow through with our shot. So how we do is we want to make sure after we hit the shuttle, we want to gently just let the racket drop to the left side of your waist. And then to avoid your racket hitting your left hand when doing the follow through, you really want to make sure that your left hand while doing the swing, you want to make sure that your left hand is also moving slowly towards the chest direction like this. So the final step to hit the perfect overhead shot is to actually learn the final hit. So once the shuttle is in the air, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're placing yourself right behind the shuttle. Meanwhile, your eyes are following the shuttle as it travels in the air. And then you want to hit the shuttle right in front of you like this. You don't want to hit it directly above you or too much behind you because it might cause you to make more mistakes. And also, it's just a lot easier to control the shot once it's, once it's right in front of you like this. And you also want to make sure that you keep your contact point as high as possible like this. And then one last important point is that when you're, when you're, hit, when you're swinging, make sure that your racket head stays the same when you're doing every shot. So you want to make sure that your racket head is the same before the very last second, before you hit the shot. So there you go. These are the five steps of hitting a perfect overhead shot. If you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.